Hello, so in this video, let's put Legends Text Node Shadows to our furniture plan. So let's go back to our project of furnitures and let's locate our furniture plan and furniture shadow. Here is our shadow and let's put it here. So it's quite compact and the sheet is very big, so I can rim make the sheet and let's make it 297 and here 420 and I can create a compact looking view of my furnitures and of course I can put some text notes annotate text and note all plants and rooms look in ba drawing zero And zero two let's put this ones like that in here and another drawing zero two and this will be zero three and in zero four full plant syndromes look in okay. And other part also I can create 3D model for my 3D building architecture plan and I can crop it to this position. I can modify the view so I can get similar viewpoint from which I am looking in my use and I can tag okay I need to crop and I can tag objects and let's put this one in here title and I can move it to a nice location and it gives me additional information about my view also I can modify and let's say make it more compact and put in this position just to represent my plan view let's let's just crop this one move it to the side next part it would be great to have some information like images in the shadow and they can represent uh, like object legends uh, in here I don't have legends for my furniture I can try to create quick legend for let's say one furniture and annotate let's select components and let's go to furniture furniture student desk front top front side back view And it cannot 
get 3D view, but I can use this as example and I can put some basic dimensions. So it mostly depends from the family which was created using uh, these tools. Some families can be tagged and put it with dimensions in legends. Some families cannot, so you just need to check it out. And here I can tag my material if I need. Material name, okay. Furniture. And from here you see it is uh, very big and I can change scale. Let's say 1 to 50. And it's my furniture legend. After changing scale, it's important to go back and to fix dimensions because they can go on the top of your objects and you need just to rearrange all the dimensions from here. 